Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Office Arcade. Uh, finally caught a really cool match uh, in Super Turbo uh, that I'll share with you guys in a second here. Just so you guys know, I've been trying to catch cool matches. The, the game just wasn't super active uh, this past week. So yeah, we managed to capture some cool Super Turbo footage. Let's jump into it. All right, so finally managed to catch a good match here. Uh, we got two die four uh, versus four co-op pop. For co-op pop, I see him playing a lot of super turbo and hyper fighting. I haven't really caught him in champion edition, so that makes me a fan of him already. Um, and he's uh, he's beaten me pretty bad with his Vega. He's got a great Vega. Um, and to die for, we all know him. He's got an amazing Guile, amazing Ryu, and an amazing DJ. Uh, so it'll be fun to see how how these guys uh, match up. So it looks like we caught a quick win from four co-op pop uh, with Vega there. Uh, we walked into a first round where, where that was ending, and then that second round went fast. So looks like to die for is thinking about switching to Ryu here, made the switch. Let's see how this one goes for to die for. All right, opens with a hurricane kick, eats those low uh, combo attacks from Vega into the jumping overhead. Uh, and then just crazy mix-ups in the corner. Like if you guys play against Vega on Super Turbo, once he gets you in the corner, it's it's a scary situation. All right, so here he had leaping air attack, got countered by Ryu. Ryu's pushed into the corner though. To die for is trying to create some space, trying to push back out. Uh, but Vega just gets him right back into the corner with those low combos. Uh, gets that overhead attack in, making low combos now to try to uh, get Ryu out of the middle. Ooh, and a nice throw from Vega to end the round. All right, so right now it looks like four uh, co-op pop is just kicking some butt at the moment. All right, and to die for is bringing out his DJ, which his his DJ whooped me. I think I went like ten and one against them or something. Um, so here we go. So uh, DJ takes some early damage from Vega. Those jumping overheads are just really difficult to, to time and counter, especially if you're on uh, Turbo 2 or 3, which seems to be what most people are playing. Um, I think in tournaments they use Turbo 1, if I remember correctly. Vega's just getting those low chip attacks in. DJ's trying to, to create some space and, and maintain that space here with his fireball. And that is it for round one. Vega takes it again. All right, nice fireball to open things up. Good low block there. Gets hits that gets hit by that overhead. Vega's just capitalizing on those overheads. It's counterable with an anti air, but well, but just like that, DJ countered it with this kind of anti air kick there. Um, but it's just super difficult to time. So DJ's in the corner trying to get out. Nice little double kick combo there. And then a nice mix-up to finish Vega off. So to die for takes that round. All right, opening with the double kick. Some nice blocks there, nice fireball. Ooh, big throw from Vega. And now that corner mix-up that he loves. Oh, very good counter from DJ. That double kick combo again into a nice overhead. DJ is doing some great mix-ups here. He's getting his timing down on those counters. And now Vega is in trouble. He is just trapped in the corner. Ooh, and a nice super to finish it from to die for. And yeah, these guys are, uh, to die for is an awesome YouTuber. You should definitely check them out if you haven't seen them already. Does some really, really crazy mods. Okay, so the guys had a bunch of whiffs there, but Vega's the first one to confirm with a couple overheads. Has a bit of a life lead now. Ooh, huge life lead because of that throw. Let's see if DJ can bring it back. DJ's got his super ready to go already. But he's got a huge life deficit. Gets punished for that double kick into the air. Ooh, nice throw. So DJ's got some of his own corner mix-ups going beautiful. Some nice throws, some nice low attacks. Just applying some crazy pressure, gets punished for that jump in though. Ooh, and then the super throw from Vega to end it. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would jump in against Vega. His attacks are just so fast that, that I feel like it never works out for me. Nice fireball from DJ. Keeping some space there. Ooh. Vega didn't jump as far as he usually does, so DJ got punished for that whiff. Ooh, nice throw. So yeah, these guys have some crazy mind games going on right now. Vega's messing with his ranges because he realized that DJ uh, got his range down um, and is now uh, trying to, to change his ranges to, to make DJ whiff and get those whiff punishes off. So DJ takes that round. Let's see, let's see who wins this. All right, nice fireballs from DJ. He's chipping Vega down. Great counter kick. Ooh, nice throw from Vega. And now he's gonna start that corner mix up. Oh, beautiful, but DJ reverses it, gets Vega in the corner, count anti airs him, and then finishes him with his own mix up. The game is tied up 2 2. Four player co op with two to die for with two. Or four, four co op pop. I'm not sure if I call him by the right name there. <laughs> All right, nice mix-up from DJ. Ooh, half health. Ooh, down to like 20%. That was just outrageous damage from To Die For. It looks like To Die For is starting to get a feel for this matchup. Vega's mounting a really nice comeback here, though. Can he actually take it back with the super throw to finish it? I cannot believe that he actually took that back from To Die For. Nice throw. Vega didn't get that whiff punish. I guess DJ learned his lesson. He's, he's taking his time now. Playing more of a defensive game this round. Beautiful fireball. Ooh, nice throw from Vega, though. Another super close match. Nice throw from DJ. Putting him in the corner. Starting that mix-up game back up. Beautiful. Beautiful. 1-1 one, one again. Let's see who can take this game. Yeah, this is super close. Uh, these, these, both these characters are just being played super well. Nice throw from DJ. Threw Vega out of the corner, though. He's been very good about throwing him into the corner. Nice fireball. Maintaining some distance here. Vega's trying to get in. He's doing these baby hops. Ooh, nice. So he was doing a bunch of baby hops there to see if DJ, or my guess is to see if DJ does his anti-air. Uh, and he wasn't doing it, so then he felt safe about doing a full-on jump in. Once he got his jump and he was able to do his corner mix-up, and it was super, and, and that was it. So Vega manages to, for co-op pop, manages to steal momentum back. Let's see if DJ is going to tie it back up for to die for, or if, if for co-op pop has figured out this matchup now. Some nice blocking from DJ, but those mix-ups are so fast, it's just hard to, to block them all. Great reactions, but match is pretty lopsided. Good ant here. Um, Vega's going for the finish here. All right. Round two. So the guys are really respecting each other at this point, trying to, to find gaps in each other's games. We got a nice jump in from Vega there, and then we had a nice throw from DJ. DJ's trying to keep some range here. They're throwing out jabs just to, to try counter one another here. Ooh, very nice. DJ's just playing a crazy defensive game here. To die for might take it back, but there's always that throw super that he's got to watch out for. Very nice. Finishes it with a fireball. All right. DJ kicking it off with Nant here, and then his own nice mix-up. Vega manages to punish him a little bit, but then DJ takes the attack back. Nice throw from Vega to get himself out of the corner. But DJ counters him with an anti air, and we have a tied game, 3 3. Yeah, and apologies again for not getting more footage. Uh, I know you guys are enjoying these videos, um, so, so trying to get good matches, but 
uh, this past week it was just really difficult but fortunately today I managed to catch this this awesome nice close match between two very skilled players and now we got DJ just applying crazy corner pressure on Vega got him in the corner early let's see if Vega can bring it back though we saw him bring it back from this life deficit before and that's what he's doing right now nice nice mix-ups here a lot of lows into throws DJ uses that super to get out of the corner, creates some space, and gets that, that uh, anterior kick to, to counter Vega there, takes the first round. All right, nice fireball to open things up. Nice jump in from Vega. Did not go for the corner mix up there. So DJ pushed out. All right, now, ooh. Vega punish, uh, gets punished by DJ, but ends up getting into the corner again and now starts his mix-up. DJ tries to get that super to, to turn the tables, but, but ends up whiffing and getting punished. And Vega manages to finish the round because of that mistake there. All right, DJ gets whiff punished on that double kick again. Vega's starting to feel it. You can see when that mix-up game is just going really well for him. For Co-op Pop, respecting DJ, though, he's not just jumping in as, as blindly as he was. DJ actually takes the momentum back there, gets himself out of the corner, gets Vega in the corner. Beautiful little combo. And now he's just doing his own mix-up all over Vega in the corner and takes the lead to die for his up 4-3. to three. Crazy close matches. All right. We got Vega doing his jump-ins again. DJ's creating range with the fireballs. Both these guys are starting to get pretty comfortable with this matchup. DJ gets himself out of the corner, but then Vega starts his ground game to push DJ into the corner. And now DJ's back in the corner. We're getting some nice mix-up from Vega here. But DJ is chipping him down uh, with some whiff punishes, so the life uh, life was super close on that one. Uh, and DJ ends up winning it. He's just getting a lot of punishments on Vega. Vega's playing a very aggressive game still, even though he's he's kind of uh, you know slowed it down a little bit to to play play smart against DJ. Uh, DJ's just capitalizing on the aggression that Vega kind of has to apply. So, to die for is playing as DJ a lot like his Guile currently, more focused on a defensive game and a counter game than than an aggressive push game, and it's paying off. Like he is blocking all of Vega's attacks. He's he's whiff punishing them. He's countering them, and then he's doing his own nice mix ups to uh, to make sure he has a nice life lead. So it's five three now, and these guys are still sticking with DJ and Vega. Nice trade to open up. Fireball gets the best of it, though. Nice jump in from Vega. Good corner mix-up. Guys are trading like crazy. Nice throw. There we go. Oh, DJ takes it back with the throw. Vega takes it back with his own throw. These guys are just going crazy on each other with throws. <laughs> Vega trying to apply that corner pressure. Got lucky and missed that super. He overjumped DJ, and DJ went underneath super close match nice jump in from vega nice corner pressure from vega to finish it all right dodged that fireball to open up and got his own uh jump in throw going and now these guys are just trading dj has vega in the corner but vega's doing his low mix-ups to uh to push dj back to the other side now and it just seems to be working. He's doing his low low push attacks at, with the occasional overhead attack just to have a little bit of a mix-up game, but that Vega, those Vega low attacks have a ton of pushback. So he's just doing a lot of work uh, knocking, knocking DJ back. And that looks like it. Guys dropped out of the match. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, that, that match. Um, I thought it was a really good one. Uh, that DJ Vega play was super close. I love watching these to, to learn from them, so hopefully you guys are uh, uh, you know, having fun watching these as well.
Yeah, I'd love to start catching some uh, Darkstalkers 2 and Darkstalkers 3 footage as well. So folks start jumping in there. Um, hopefully we can get some, some commentary on those going. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to focus on uh, hyper fighting and super turbo. Uh, so if you're hoping to get one of your matches, you know, caught and commentated, uh, feel free to keep grinding in, in those two games.